everybody, this is Elissa from Mink Arts and Crafts, and today I am going to do an unboxing for you, slash, it's going to be a little bit different, so I'm going to unbox this kit, I'm going to work on this kit, and then I'm going to do a little quick post review of this kit. Uh, so this is going to be a Purple Spring, it is a Sybil Art, uh, is the artist, and this is actually a DIY uh, moon, which of course, as we all know, DIY moon itself is no longer uh, with us, uh, company's been sold, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and now we have Diamond Painting Fanatics. It now uh, owns um, what used to be DIY Moon. So I'm not going to go into all of the details of that, but I did purchase uh, four canvases from DIY Moon uh, shop before they went out of business. And I actually received the kits. I was actually really worried because they had already kind of like closed up shop and everything. And I think I like, I basically in their website had already disappeared and I think I've, and I still hadn't received my kits and I think my kit, they, but they had already been mailed, but I didn't know that they had been mailed or anything like that. So I was kind of like, am I going to get them? Are they going to arrive? What's going to happen? But I did actually receive them, which I was fortunate and lucky that I did. So, uh, I love Sybil Art. She's one of my favorite artists and this is, these will be my first time actually first and only kits that I will have ever ordered from DIY Moon. So this will be a quick uh, unboxing and we are going to kind of get into it. So, all right, let us see. A little bit of sticky apparently on the bag of drills. All right, so I know you actually get a little hint of this. We're going to flip it over because we got to look at the colors first and then we can look at that. So we have 36 colors. This is Purple Spring by Civil Art. It is a 30 by 38 centimeter round drill canvas. So that is what we are going to have. All right. Let's go ahead and break into these drills. Right, so I don't think they're in any specific order, so we're just gonna go into it. So we've got 150, 38, 37, 823, 760, 996, 966, 959, 959, Three seven one, and then we have a two zero eight, three zero seven, three one eight, three three three, three five one, four zero two, three four zero, one AB. This is AB four four four. Just a little bit of gold with a bunch of pink spattered in there. And a massive bag of 38.65. That is a huge bag of 38.65. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a bag that big. And those are our colors with the one AB. So I'm going to show you where that AB is going to be. And I'm going to leave these off to the side because, like I said, I am going to be literally kidding this up right uh, after this video. Uh, and working on it. Boom. All right, let's flip this over. Canvas is the creepy, soft, textury, uh, soft backing. It's a little bit thinner. Uh, it doesn't have the sturdiness to it that some other companies will have. It's a little bit thinner. I, I do like the look how they have this. Um, I do like the look with like the, the border on it here. That is That does add like a nice touch to it. So I do like that aspect. It does add a nice little touch having that border. So this is going to be, you've got the um, nice serge poked edges. I don't like the back because ah, creepy softness, texture issues. I have texture issues. 
You've got very clear printing on the background as far as the Z's for the white. You've got some clear printing there. And then I like that they don't have the actual guide circles. They just have the squares. That's the bat, like the look that I, I like. Uh, so this is one of those things that I don't like. If you're going to have an eight, don't put a B in there. So you can see here, we've got eights and we've got Bs right next to each other. So that will be a section. I'll just bring you down so you can see it a little bit better rather than looking at it like that. So eights and Bs can be confusing. Uh, so we're going to come down and we're going to take a look at that. Because as we look at that, you can see just by looking at it right there, you already know you're going to have to pay attention. Granted, they're different colors, but still, 8, 9, B. That right there can be a little confusing. So the rest of the symbols over in here, clear cut, easy to distinguish. Also, this B can be a little bit dark, that darker color with the darker B, a little bit dark. I would have liked to have seen it on a lighter backing right there. That's something that I prefer is some of that lighter backing. So we are gonna have a little bit of confetti, but this is a small kit, so it's not the, not a lot. Like literally the majority of this kit is going to be the white background. We're gonna go ahead and come back up. Let me go ahead and zoom us back out. Switching over to my other lens. All right, and then we come back down. You get the branding, DIY Moon Shop, doesn't exist anymore. Purple Spring by Sybil Art, 30 by 38 in round. Here is our legend of the symbols that we have. We have our 1AB. And I think it's kind of one of those things that you can choose whether you do with the T's, you can either do the 307 or the AB444. I'm going to use an AB because, you know, I'm going to use an AB. This is what I do. I use ABs. So I'll place the AB instead of for the, all of the T's. I'm going to put an AB down because that's what I do. And that's going to go pretty much anywhere that you see the T in here. So you're going to see those T's for the yellow kind of splattered around there. It'll be interesting to see how this looks rendering wise and how it turns out when we've got the purples. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to add any crystals to this or not, or if I'm going to leave it, just kind of work it up as is with this small canvas uh, like that. I may just work it up, use the one AB that's in here. Sometimes you just want to work up a kit as is. Um, I've been blinging out most of my kits lately. Uh, in my last kit that I did, I did bling up. So I may just do this one, work it up as is with this one AB. Sometimes you just want to do that. So this is Purple Spring. We will see how it looks once I actually work it up and kind of go from there. Um, and that will be what we do. Boom. All right, I am back everybody and I have a finish for you of this uh, cute little purple spring by Sybil Art. So uh, it took me seven hours and 26 minutes to finish this painting. Uh, it would have taken me significantly less time but I found it very frustrating to work on this kit for how small it was. Uh, I found it very frustrating. There were, there were, well, first we'll talk about the things that actually went well. So I was a little bit hesitant because you can see, like there were a lot of colors in here, but obviously the background was white. There's 36 colors, one AB. The ABs in here uh, were like, you can't even, I did use the ABs, but you can see like here is the AB. You can see you can hardly see it. The ABs were very subpar. Um, so a very subpar AB that I did put down on here, but like you can't even see the shimmer from the ABs and there wasn't even a lot of AB charted in it. Just a little bit of some of that yellow, but the AB didn't even really like there half the ABs that I looked at in the little drill container. Let me grab them. You can see this. So when you look at it and you see these are the ABs and you don't even really see a good AB coating on this. Um, like they were very subpar ABs. Uh, actually I have a drill. I'll pull them. Uh, as, as I'm filming this, I'm getting ready to do all my last minute packing to go on a trip. So to go to Florida to visit my parents and you can see like those are the ABs. 
like where's the AB coating? There is an AB coating on it. It's just a very subpar, kind of not what I would expect from pretty much any other company I've ever used for an AB coating. So very subpar AB coating um, for these drills. So I was kind of like mm, underwhelmed by the AB coating. Uh, let's see if I can put these drills back in there little container without making a mess of success. So very subpar for the ABs. Uh, I did use them, kind of not satisfied with them there, so that was kind of meh. But looking at the rest of the, um, the kit, like I was worried because this is such a small canvas and such a small image, I was actually pretty worried about whether the image would come out because it is such a small image. Um, and granted, yes, it's very pixelated and it's going to be pixelated because it is so small, but you can tell what the picture is. You can see the image. Uh, I do have to say, and this is something that I didn't really, uh, think about or see or notice really much until I was kidding up this, Im this, uh, kit, but for the money that, and granted, it's all kind of like a new point because we know DIY Moon Shop is no longer, and uh, I will have to try out uh, Diamond Painting Fanatics and see how some of the kits are from there for the upgrade because, of course, we know that um, she's completely changed manufacturers to her own established manufacturer, and I'm excited to kind of see how those changes have manifested because, as it is, like, if this, if, if DIY Moon Shop was still in existence and this is, like, my first time which this was my first time doing a kit from them but based off of this kit I would not be purchasing from DIY Moon Shop again just based off of my experience with this uh and the reasoning why I'll go into that uh one it was like um and for me it's not a deal breaker if a company doesn't include like a sticker sheet but for the money that you pay for these kits I would expect to have a sticker sheet or at least a large sheet that you can actually then turn into a sticker. This did not have either, either of those. It had a very small like inventory sheet, but not one that I could easily turn into a sticker. So I ended up having to just literally just write on a sticker with like the symbol and the color, uh, the DMC code for all of my containers rather by hand rather than being able to just either use, run them through like a Zyron sticker maker or whatever else. I couldn't do that because that just didn't work. Uh, so uh, there was a lot of confetti on this and a lot of like, there was a couple colors. Like there's this color that you see here. I'll bring it up where I'm, I'm like, there were 36 colors and all the lot of the colors that I used, I'm like, I literally placed that drill in like three spots. I'm like, was it really necessary to have those colors? in something this tiny. And I was like, I don't think I needed to have that many colors in something this tiny. Like I could have gotten away with significantly fewer colors than the 36 colors. Cause it's like those right there, that color green was like maybe 10 drills in this entire canvas. If that, for that color green. So there was a lot of them where it was just like, seriously, why, why are we placing all using that many shades we could have gotten away with using the same kind of like shades of pre-existing shades of like greens and purples that were already in here using those again uh rendering wise for how small it was and I knew this was going to be a pixelated look and like I've said before in some of my videos I don't mind that pixelated look of images because that does not bother me that I really does not bother me uh I do not mind that at all so that's not an issue. So like, and for here, you can actually see, you can tell you've got her face um, and you've got the flowers in her hair, uh, but you kind of lose it a little bit kind of coming down and um, you can't really make out much in here uh, on her body. Like the face and the hair, <clears throat> pardon me, that part was fine and the rendering, I knew that was gonna be a little bit of an issue with this being such a small kit, but sometimes I like to pick like these super small kits that companies will have because if they're gonna offer it as a small kit, you have to be able to stand behind it. And if you're gonna offer something super small, well, don't offer something that's not gonna turn out well, uh, essentially, 
like don't stand behind something that's not going to get a good look and offer that up but the biggest issue that I had was the glue and the adhesive on this kit well one the kit is like super flimsy so as I'm placing the background because I started with the white in the background uh, which was the, the 3865 uh, and I placed all of that first and then I went through and did all of the colors of her uh, so as I was placing the background this back this canvas was so flimsy like I would have taken the cheap budget kit stiff canvas in a heartbeat over this particular canvas because it was so flimsy as I'm laying down the drills like I had to hold the canvas flat as I'm laying down the drills because the any kind of putty or anything that I used was enough that it was like deforming the canvas and pulling it away and it just wouldn't stick stay still because it was so flimsy which was really frustrating and annoying and then the other issue that I had is the adhesive was horrendous as well like I would lay down a drill and then I'd go to like as I was placing the other colors I'd lay down a drill and I'd look at my my pen and I'd be like what's this extra color from and it would be because when I laid down a drill the putty on my pen because I, I use multi-placer and if I'm laying down three drills of one color I'd place those and I'd lift up my pen and there would be an extra drill on the bottom of my pen where say let's say I placed so I was using a test placer but I'm mostly only placing like two so I say I was coming up here and I placed two there placed those down and I lift it up and there'd be a drill sticking to it right here where it had pulled up one of the drills elsewhere on the kit and it would do that through the entirety of this canvas so I was constantly like but I wouldn't notice it until I placed a couple things and I'd look and I'd be like okay now I have to figure out where this drill pulled up from on this kit which was extremely frustrating and there, I was constantly having like the drills felt popping off and falling off I literally right before filming this sat here and like used my brayer and rolled like crazy with my brayer to try to get this to stick so definitely had to use my brayer to kind of like get all of the drills to stick down and they were to kind of force them into that adhesive and force them into that glue because they just did not want to stick to the glue and there were some spots where I felt like the adhesive was just like so non non sticky so that was extremely frustrating and not something that I was a fan of at all. Um, and I do have, a, I think I, when I purchased this kit, I actually had uh, three more kits that I had purchased at the same time. Uh, one other uh, Sybil Art and then two other, two kits from two other artists, also from DIY Moon. Uh, so it'll, it'll be interesting to see if I have the same issues with those other three kits I don't feel like working on them right now I kind of feel like I need to work on something that's not going to give me issues before I work on those ones um, because I'm like if this is an example of what those kits are like then like yeah I basically like the quality of the kit for the money it was it was very unimpressive um, and very frustrating to work on and I was like eh, not a fan uh, so Need, but um, what I am looking forward to is at some point purchasing from uh, Diamond Painting Fanatics to see what the quality is from her now that because of course like I said she has taken has purchased DIY Moon and she's switched everything over to her manufacturer and everything else so that's something that uh, I will probably at some point purchase um, like go through and see if there's something that I want to purchase from her and kind of get an idea um of like the change um and kind of like the quality for her kits and her canvases and then kind of go from there but that was my thoughts on her uh of this canvas here as you can see uh and I know it's kind of like kind of like a moot point in a way because you know the business is out of business uh, and you can't even purchase these kits anymore. But at the same time, it's like, well, uh, I still wanted to kind of give you guys my thoughts because this is something that, you know, there are going to be people, people who still do have some DIY uh, moon canvases in their collection. And, you know, when I made my purchase, I was hearing good things about DIY moon. And I was like, well, let me go ahead and buy some kits from them. Um, and I bought some kits and needless to say, just off of this first kit, I think this has been one of the more disappointing ones that I've worked on. 
um, out of all of the kits that I've done so far, both with the adhesive and then also kind of like with how, like how pixelated and everything it was. Like if this was something that I had paid, you know, seven, eight, nine bucks off of like Amazon for as like a budget kit. Yeah, no, it would have not been an issue. But you know, when you spend significantly more than that for it on a, through like a licensed company, you kind of expect a little bit more than that. So anyways, that's going to be all I have for you guys. Uh, and I will go ahead and let you guys go. Uh, have a great day, everybody. Bye.